Okay, so we got what you call exaltations and debilitations. And so, for example, the best place to have Venus is in Pisces. And, and that would mean the worst place to have Venus would be in Virgo. Now, I'm not really sure of the mathematics or the sciences behind why that is. I just have memorized what signs are exalted and what, and what's debilitated and what. Um, I could go down the line. So the sun, the best place to have the sun is in Aries. These are blessed beings. I think we all see that. So we always got to look at the opposite sign. Um, that means it's debilitated in Libra. The sun is debilitated in Libra. Um, it falls in Libra you know that's fall time um, let's see we have Mars the best place to have Mars or where it's exalted at is in Capricorn which makes a lot of sense I mean when it's time to fight time to assert your masculine energy you're not too hot and you're not too feminine you're grounded Capricorn Mars and Capricorn is the best place to have it. So the worst place or the exaltation, the hardest lesson to learn would be Mars in Cancer. Because when it's time to assert yourself, it's time to fight, it's time to be masculine. Cancer is a sign of emotional connectedness. It's the wateriest water sign. Um, we got... Um, Jupiter. Jupiter is exalted in Cancer and is debilitated in Capricorn. We have the moon. The best place to have the moon. The moon is exalted in Taurus and the moon's debilitated in Scorpio. I mean, if I had to put any input on that as a Scorpio sun, you know, when it comes to your emotions, and your feminine side, Scorpio is the sign of secrets. Um, so I feel like Mar uh, Moon and Scorpio has a really hard time expressing themselves, expressing the inner parts of them, um, not only to themselves but to others. And even in, even when they do do that, they might not even give the full truth. So let me give you my Venus in Virgo experience because that's a debilitation and I just got to say when it comes to debilitations and exaltations it's just like having good cards and bad cards just because you had you have good cards doesn't mean you're going to use it correctly you have a chance of over exalting yourself over exhausting yourself um, and when you have debilitations or bad cards or the worst place um, it doesn't mean you're going to have a lot of trouble probably honestly but more more or less it's just like you know that's that's a powerful lesson to learn so for me having venus in virgo virgo is the sign of purity and venus is the planet of love that that kind of sucks that that's the truth you know that having pure love is harsh hard um i mean it could play out in so many ways i mean ways to the point where like you because virgo is genuine Virgo is the woman. So it's like, you know, you might genuinely give some of the time of the day because you're pure Virgo. And they might take it too far and think, think that you like them or think that you're really trying to create something with them. Or you probably know someone is bad news, but you give them the time of day anyways. Or, you know, just, just, just loving too pure when you shouldn't. That's not like... That's not like Venus and Aries where, or Venus and Sag where they could just, you know, bun somebody out just because they feel like it. Fire, feeling. Water, feeling. Um, earth and air is thinking. Um, so, quick rant, Astrology 101.